something that really impressed me about the film was that, you know, your character, despite aging, you retain that childlike quality in your acting. How difficult was it to kind of, you know, get that youth into your performance? Um, thank you. I think, I don't know, I'm not, I'm just like myself. I'm a very, um, I don't know, kind of young, goofy-ish kind of personality, I suppose. So I think that was just kind of part of me showing through. Um, I don't know, I think Maddox is... She wasn't so, kind of, I don't know, I feel like Maddox stayed very grounded and kind of um, present throughout the film. She was one of the few characters who was able to accept what was going on and just kind of roll with the punches a little bit. Um, so, my, so yeah, just I guess that kind of presence is something that you see a lot in younger kids that not being distracted by life's worries, but just like actually kind of being, I don't know, there in the world, um, actually kind of taking in what's going on rather than absorbed by their phones. So, yeah, maybe that too. You know, filming, I was reading about it, was very complicated. You had hurricane season on top of the pandemic, but you would never know that it was so hectic by watching the film. Can you speak to the difficulty of the shoot and the professionalism of everybody to get through it and really stay composed? Yes, it was. We um even before we started filming, I was supposed to be leaving to the Dominican Republic in a cup in a couple of days, and it got delayed because of hurricane season. One of the sets had been pulled out to sea, um, so they had to rebuild it. Um, so there were like definitely lots of obstacles with nature, and also just it was just like constantly raining on and off, and working in the heat and um, working in the sand, which I find like just, I don't know, it's so tiring running around on sand because you never feel like you've got a steady foot on, a steady hold on anything. Um, so yeah, there were definitely lots of challenges, but I feel like everyone really pulled through and we got it done. You know, getting to work with M. Knight, he's such a talented writer and director. How much of a thrill was that for you personally? It was really cool because he is such an iconic director whose movies are really, uh, get referenced um, often. Um, so yeah, it was amazing, it was very surreal. I think every director I've worked with so far has brought a different style of directing to their films, a different approach. And so I always find it really interesting working with new directors and, and seeing how they, how they do their job, um, yeah. And then my last question, I love hearing about prep. Uh, you know, this is based off a graphic novel called Sandcastle. Did you read that or do you prefer to just stay to the script? I did read Sandcastle, um, which I really, really enjoyed. Uh, the script is, it kind of, the script is different from Sandcastle. It's not exactly the same. So I relied on the script more because that's the material we were working with um but it was really great to to read sandcastle and get kind of a better idea of of each of the characters and and to um try and try and yeah to build to build the character of maddox um it's important to kind of pull from as many resources as you can and if it's available then i don't know i want to want to be able to use it 